What's up YouTube, Nate here. I'm doing the letter time for the Raw Pickups 39.5, the Mega Pickup Pit Stop. Uh, we shot this video in addition to the other Mega Pickups video that we did. Since we love your comments so much, we wanted to show you how important they are to us, so we decided to respond to them. Our good friend Jasbo Vision made a comment that Blitz is tits. Quote that T Dwella. Is that what? I don't think Lester said that. I didn't say that for sure. Anyways, <laughs> Lester giving a thumbs up reminds him of Bloodsport. A-OK, okay, USA. OK, USA. We had this whole long thing with Aaron from Retro Liberty, 64-Bit Matthew, and me and Lester. Aaron and Matt would make a team on Blitz and would take on Lester and me, and they would win. And I said that Aaron and Matt are having some sort of bromance, all hardcore. And then I think Matt eventually said, we need to get matching rings and tattoos. It just went crazy. <laughs> and uh, like I said, Aaron, anytime you want to come up to the Great White North, feel free to come. I'll have a park already for you and a big bag of Skittles. I think Aaron said that his center would be Norlin Ryan because he loves sports. Good one. I think the funniest comment I read was that John Fernandez... Good old John Fernandez uh, said that the Fami clone system that we found, or the light gun that was built in, he called it a Fami fail because we assumed that it would fit Famicom games and it didn't when he got home. Yes, Kevin Aruda, he knew what video and arcade top 10 was. It's letter time. That's it for letter time. Thank you very much for everyone who commented. Sorry we can't read them all out. Love reading them. We try to respond to as many of them as we can. Uh, it just gives us like a sense of community and we love being a part of this. On with... Pickups 39.5, the Mega Pickup Pit Stop. Again, Lester and I have been a little bit busy. We'll be pumping up more videos, just gotta get to editing them. And yeah, that's it. Peace. And Lester hasn't seen these yet. Uh, there's a spring cleaning sale at PNP Games, which is, is okay. You buy three games, get the fourth one free. So I bought a bunch of like $6 games. This is the one I actually got free, Codename Viper. One of my favorite games on the Nintendo. People, I think this is actually an underrated yeah, game. Very underrated. I should have said this yeah, game. Capcom, yeah. beautiful game. Pretty decent story, predictable, but fun for a Nintendo. Capcom always makes excellent Nintendo games. I am all. And since Lester loved it so much in the last versus video, Karate Champ. Oh, for the Nintendo. Yes. What? You think you can give me some competition? Sure, I'll try it. Lester loves Karate Champ. Nice. That's a good idea. Um, I actually didn't have this game, so I picked it up for five bucks. Kobe Bryant Courtside 2. I didn't even know they made yeah, a sequel to this I didn't game. Know either, but... Kobe. And lastly, I picked up for the PlayStation Kickboxing. Yeah, Kickboxing. <laughs> it looks interesting. It was only eight bucks, <laughs> and plus you got the fourth game free. And uh, for people who don't know, I love kickboxing. Yeah, don't mess with me because we'll be choked. Funny story, actually. Uh, we finished our pickup video and we forgot we had some more, so this is... Uh, oh! Holy... I picked up a copy of Ness Open. There was a guy at the flea market, he was uh, closing up shop. And he sold this one to me for 10 bucks. He wanted $18 for it. It's complete with the manual. I know, and I reasoned with him, I said, NES Open is not an expensive game by any means. So I was able to drop 8 bucks off of it. There's the manual. And this box is in really nice shape. And I was also able to work in with the $10. Streets of Rage for the Sega Genesis. This is the uh, manual. Got a really cool, uh, I guess, promo box for God of War Ascension. I thought it was really cool. It has like, you got Poseidon, Zeus, Hades, and Ares, I'm guessing. That's it. They didn't have price tags on them, so they charged me $2.99 for these games. Phantom Vision for the PS2. Lester said this was uh, PS2's attempt to make a beautiful game. Yeah. Did they succeed? I like that division. I liked it a lot. Maybe on CRT televisions it looks yeah. nice. Bombastic for the PS2. This was by Capcom. And any game by any game made by Capcom usually is pretty good, eh? Oh no, that game. If you played Double Dice before, you like Bombastic. Oh. Angel, Dark Angel, Vampire Apocalypse. I don't know. It was $2.99, so. Can leave that for three minutes. And I picked up a copy of Frequency that looks like the cover is all jacked up. Why does the cover look like this? I have no idea. It's all cut. But it's the official game. Wow, uh, it's misprinted. Uh, Frequency? Oh, I give that game a 9 out of 10. It's a music game. Um, actually, I actually bought that brand new, but it 
Oh, How much was it? Oh, I bought it for $2.99. Uh, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer for the GameCube. Again, I love you know, ocean based games. <laughs> the water seems to me. On the road. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. I've heard decent things about this game. This one is incomplete. It's for the PS2. And also got Hot Shots Tennis. I only get these games because Lester tells me they're good. I'm very biased towards the PlayStation 2. I get so excited. <laughs> but if you heard me talk uh, before about 3DO games, they're very hard to find around here. This was two bucks. John Madden Football. Look how big this box is. <laughs> Who had room in their shelf for this? Uh, the reason I got this because it was complete. It had like the posters in it still. If you wanted to know the stats back in 1998, there it is for you. It's like this game was never touched. Yeah. <laughs> and they actually have uh, the manual, which is really like a book, and the playbook. You used to play football in high school, remember? Outside linebacker, running back. We were the worst team in the city. <laughs> but I was still asked to play in the provincial team, which is a big coup for me. There you go. That's it. Back to our previously recorded outro. What is that? From Wayne's World? Yeah, Wayne's World. <laughs> Anyways, that's it from uh, this pickup video. Good departure we had from the Mega Pickups. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. Basically, Lesser and I shot a bunch of pickups in a row. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for uh, everyone who subscribes and supports Thrift Dweller. Anyways, that's it from us, Nate. Lesser. <laughs>